Hi, in this video, I'll explain you how one can create LLM applications using Streamlit. For this video, I have already created a project which is named Langbot. Langbot is a translator website and apart from translation, it also provides a bit of explanation on how respective translation is going on. So let me quickly show you a demo. So let's say I want to translate to French and I'll just pass some text here. Let's say, hello, how are you? And I pressed enter. It translated the sentence I passed here into French. And apart from translation, it's also giving a brief explanation for each word or sentence that uh, could be super helpful for the user. Now this kind of UI, uh, you can see it's similar to the one that we have in chat GPT or other AI tools. And I am able to make it look like it using the recent streamlit chain methods that they added uh, that are chat message, chat input, etc. And apart from using uh, chat input, I am also taking voice input here. And I am using Google speech recognition for detecting the voice input and translating it into the text. It's not necessary to uh, pass the English text here. We can use any language. So, like I will use Hindi right now for other word and it will automatically detect that and translate it to French. Mujhe aaj football khelna hai. and uh, sometimes this error message appears so I don't know why it's happening uh, but my uh, voice input was clearly translated so this is what I said it's a uh, Hindi text so Google speech recognition already detect what I'm saying and now using chat GPT our boat is giving us the translation which is this one that's in French Whenever I am uh, entering some text here, then the latest response is uh, given in stream of words rather than directly entering the outcome here. Let me show you. So if I entered this text, okay, it was a bit short. If I press enter. Then you see uh, the words are getting printed one by one. That's only for the latest answer. So this feature is uh, you might have seen it in ChatGPT. So I added uh, this feature here also. And there is also uh, the send button, which is not working as expected. But let's see. If I press it here, then it will give me uh, the output uh, twice. So we will have to do some changes here i was trying it but couldn't like get the best solution yet so i'll leave that up to you and then we have our account page where once logged in we can visit the donate page and here anyone can show their support by clicking this donate button and stripe link will open this uh, donate page which is a stripe payment link is just uh, in the testing mode for now so that i can teach you how you can create your own stripe page for donation or subscription or whatever you like for your app then uh, it's just the login id and so the main aim of this project is to teach you how you can create an llm application using streamlit and for the account page few of you were having some doubts in the previous video for login that will be covered here let's begin with the coding part i have opened my project in vs code now i will create a new file for home page that's going to be home.py start with importing streamlit as st then we'll need to import OpenAI. After that, we need to import speech recognition as SR. 
then uh, we are going to create a list of uh, messages where we will append all the questions that are asked by user and also the responses given by chat gpt so create a list messages and now um, i'm creating a function so that we can ask the answers from chat gpt for the questions given by user ask question and question parameter which is the question asked by user uh, as we are going to append each question to the messages i will do messages dot append and instead of directly passing the adding the question it's better to add them in a dictionary format where one key would be role which is a user for adding the user's question and the content is equal to the question asked by user and this would also be beneficial when we are going to use st.chat message and there we can easily distinguish that it's a question asked by user or it's a response by our assistant so uh, make sure to append like this then we are going to generate the response and for generating the response i will say response equal openai dot chat dot completions dot create and inside create we will have to pass the model name so model is equal to for now i am using gpt 3.5 5 turbo you can use a different model as per your choice then we have to pass the messages which is nothing but the messages that we have here basically it contain all the questions and uh, resp previous responses given by chatgpt now if i uh, do print response then you will see that there are like multiple values that uh, will get printed but we are not interested in that we will just use the first uh, or the best choice given uh, in response by chat gpt and for that we have to uh, use so i will store the reply in this chat gpt underscore reply variable and response dot choices out of all choices we are interested in first choice so it's zero based indexing that's why uh, zero then dot message dot content this will uh, be our final response for this particular question and we will see it here print chat reply and our function will also return the reply so that we can display it and uh, let's just append this response to the message list so now role is of uh, assist and the content is going to be our chat gpt reply and to check whether it's working fine or not i will just uh, pass some random question or you can say any random word here and to make it work uh, as you might have already known that uh, we will be required to pass an open a ai api key and for that i will store my api key in a secret file and then i will use it here for that we need to create a dot streamlit folder inside this we have to create a secrets dot to ml file i have uploaded the video for secret files using secrets uh, this 
stream read secret method and also using the dot env method of python so you can check that out if you want to learn about that more now i uh, just give a pair variable name uh, i'm giving open api key and inside this uh, inverted commas i will paste my open api key then i'll save it and now we have to access that key here i will create a open api key variable here and use st.secrets and pass the uh, variable name that i used here in this secrets.toml file which was open api key now doing this uh, this variable will get the value from this file and now we have to set this open ai.api key to our open ai api key and that should do the task now let me quickly run it stream it run home.py and it should show the response of chat gpt on this screen if everything goes well yeah so i asked uh, hello and it's giving uh, this response so uh, we can also ask a question here like the population show in that so uh, the question is st dot text input um, ask here and then instead of passing this hello we will pass our question itself save it and if i say something then it should give me a response regarding to this question yeah it's working fine so uh, for now that's all for this video in the next video i will show you how you, we will use chat methods of uh, streamlit to create our website and this is just a simple llm application for now which is uh, taking some question from our user and giving some response but uh, we will make it to work for a specific use case like a translation companion as for our project or you can uh, prompt it to work according to your use case so that we will see in the later part thank you